Welcome to the Pirate Handyman, where we teach you how to become more self-sufficient and save coin for your treasure chest. And if you do blah blah, then you can blah blah. So thanks for joining us here on the Pirate Handyman. Like I said, take three. <laughs> Welcome to the Pirate Handyman, where we teach you how to become more self-sufficient and save coin for your treasure chest. If you dig what we're doing, hit that subscribe button down below and join our crew. Doesn't cost you a thing. And if you hit that notification bell, you'll be notified every time a new video drops. So what we're going to do today is we're going to fix a double hung window that has a couple of different problems. Um, first of all, I'll give you the easy one first. Never open the window using the uh, the locks because they'll snap off. That's what happened to this one over here. But you'll also notice that it had been hard to get this up. And you're supposed to use this little ledge down here, but you can see how the window's kind of cantilevered a little bit. And there's something sticking out down here that shouldn't be here. This is called the uh, block and tackle counterbalance. This is what helps you get the window up and down. But it's kind of sideways. So is it because of this or is there something else wrong? Well, when we look over here, we'll no you'll notice that there's a, there's a clip. Um, so there's this little clip here, and this is how you get the counterbalance out when, uh, when it's broken. And we look over here on this side, and we notice we've, we've got the holes for the counterbalance, but there's or for the clip, the extraction clip, but we have no extraction clip. So if we come down here, we should be able to feel the counterbalance by running our finger up here, and there's nothing there. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace the broken counterbalance over here, and then we're going to put a new one in over here. So first of all, we've got to get the window out. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up. And get it up as far as we can. You can see we've got our clip open up here. So this will help extract the counterbalance that's broken. And it came out. So now what we can do, we can just Get the window up above the counterbalance, pull it to one side, and you can see it comes out. So we'll set the window off to the side here. Now our counterbalance, you can see, is completely broken. <clears throat> what it consists of is a spring and then a block and tackle pulley system. Now in order to get the right one, there's actually a stamp. You can see the stamp is right here, and that'll tell you what the replacement number is. Now, if this is hard to see, here's a little trick. Just take a pencil and go over it. There, now you can see it's easier to read. So we've, got, we've already got our replacements, we've also got our replacement clip. So we're going to put in the, repla uh, the uh, extraction clip first. Now this, this part right here needs to be down because this is what's going to catch the counterbalance. So we'll put that in first. And then we push the top in. It's a little bit of maneuvering because you've got to push that top down. There we go. Now you see we'll be able to pull it out like we did the other one. And so we want to leave that out. So now here we've got our replacement counterbalance. You can see that our numbers are, gonna, are the same. Now there's a little hook right here. But wait. We have to do something else first. All right, we want to make sure that we clean this now because we want the window to be able to 
uh, slide with the least resistance possible. So what I've got is just a toothbrush, some warm water with some detergent in it. And I'm just going to scrub out the channel. Drink it down, don't act like a clown. 98 bottles of rum and we got. 99 bottles of rum and we got. 99 bottles of rum. Drink it down, don't act like a clown. 98 bottles of rum and we got. And now we just take our rag. We want to dry it out. Get all the dirt out. 99 bottles of rum and we got. 99 bottles of rum. Drink it down, don't act like a clown. 98 bottles of rum and we got. And then we'll look at the sides of the window. Wipe these off. Dirt be the enemy. Now, one thing that is going to help here, too, is you don't want to spray anything like WD-40, anything that's oil-based, because that's going to help attract the dirt. So you can just use a candle. You can get ski wax, uh, car wax works. What we're going to do is just rub it on the sides and the back of the channel. Then on our counterbalance, we're also going to wipe it in here. And it's not in, I'm sorry, it's just going to be on the parts that are touching the window frame. So now what we do, you can see there's a little hook right here. So the hook... So we've got this little hook here. The hook is going to go in this big slot that we've got right here. So you can see you want this hook. It's right here pointing down. And we seat that hook in that big slot. Then we'll push this down from the top. We to get it to go underneath. The extractor. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. Our hook is going to go down. We're going to put it in that, seat it in that little slot there. Push this down. Put it underneath the extraction clip. And now we've got it. We're going to take the window. And we want to put it up fairly high. We're going to slide it in. And slide it over. Now gently let it down and then you're going to feel, feel it engage with the block and tackle counterbalance. So now we're going to push the extraction clips back flush. Now, as we said at the beginning, we've got to replace, this is called a sash lock. As I said, you never want to use these to open the window because they'll break off. And that's what happened over here. So you can go to a local hardware store, you can get it off the internet, but it just looks like this. You want to make sure that the size is the same. Always take the broken one in with you. So we want this, of course, to be on the outside. So we'll open the lock up. Put the screws in. And then make sure it locks. And there we go. 
They're both locked and you can see now the window slides a lot easier. Goes up and down, you can hear the springs in there. And because we cleaned the channels out and used the wax on there, it's sliding real easy. So thanks again for joining us here on the Pirate Handyman. Hope you learned something. At least how to save some coin for your treasure chest. If you dig what we're doing, join the crew. Hit that subscribe button down below. It doesn't cost you a dime. And if you hit that ship's notification bell, you'll be notified every time we drop a new tip to help you save coin for your treasure chest and become more self-sufficient. Here's to smooth sailing.